What's it like to see the location of someone with over 180,000 eBay listings? Well, we're about to find out as we go to visit the one and only Mr. Buys a Lot. All right, well, we're here and uh, I've located the secret area. So I just gotta go find them now. Where is good old Mr. Buys a Lot? Mr. Buys a Lot, Mr. Buys a Lot. <laughs> there he is, Mr. B. It's about time for prime time. <laughs> it's two warehouses. Okay. So this There's, is location number one. This is the one we work out of. Where's location number two? Location number two is actually on the other side of the airport uh, okay. in Northampton. Okay. And it is a storage, for, for instance. Like okay. A 3,000 square foot storage okay. facility. So All right. Come on in and, uh, All right. Let's well, see. Let's see. Give you. Uh, now, is anyone else here? Or is it just. Nope, it's just us. Oh, wow. Oh, I see Spider-Man. I have that same Spider-Man sign right there. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely love it. Oh, there's the famous silver. Star. See, I'm drawn into this. You probably want me to go over there, no, no, but no, no. I, this but is I, fun. I'm just I'm just drawn into this. It's it's yeah. a little full right now because right. this was last Friday's buy. Is this right. stuff here? Yeah, I was talking about in a recent video how important it is to have price guides for all different types of things that you might come right. across, like posters and Hot, Hot Wheels, Wheels and, and Star Wars and. It's just great to have that reference, and so you know you have this whole location. I have some. Hey guys, like, if you see if you see me cutting Dom's head off, he's like yeah. eleven foot uh, high, uh, and uh, I'm about five <laughs> foot four. Wait, let's no. let, let's get together. Yeah, so so there this is different. We'll have to do I a selfie up, later. I come up just to like his shoulder. So this would be a funny selfie later. <laughs> and so am I taller than you than you thought I was going to be? Because I, I yeah, warned I, you. Yeah, I figured you were like what six two, six six, and you're six six. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Glass cases. I don't have anything like that right now. So, but that's and that's this cool. this you'll find interesting. So, a lot of my buys that I kind of hold on to a little bit of stuff. Right. So since you I, like, I did notice that that looks amazing. Something. Wow. Like that. Yes, that's absolutely awesome. Nineteen fifty four. Wow. And then. I see you got some graded comics in there. Graded comics, there's an Avengers 57 in there. Uh, I, yeah, I see it right there. I don't even want to touch it, but yeah, yeah. wow. That's amazing. So, and then sports cards, uh, Garbage Pell Kids first edition. Yep. Unopened boxes of just miscellaneous stuff I've been buying. Jeez. Uh, 1940s wow. non-sports. Wow. And then, you know, the famous number one Batman Black oh, Bat card. Oh my God. It's just, the, the grading companies are so far back. Yeah. Yeah, like a year. If I'm buying stuff for grading, right. it's just kind of getting thrown in here. Right. So. Yeah. <sighs> Amazing. What's with all the Playmobil stuff? Uh, the Playmobil stuff is from Sailorsburg Flea Market. I okay. went out to Sailorsburg Flea Market, and this guy set up, said he got into a storage unit. Right. Um, he told me he has hundreds of sets, and he had priced them, you know, if he has 50 bucks on it, maybe it's selling for 70 or 75 but then right. he gave me 50% off because I bought everything in the booth. Okay. So it wound up being okay. Um, okay. Wow. But, you know, there's more over there. Yeah. And, and stuff like that, you know. Where do you normally sit? You normally this is, sit this, this is my, that's, that's the, my desk. That's the throne here. right there? Yeah. And, yeah. and you okay. can see the... Gotta uh, have a leather chair, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and you see, like... We just opened up one of the boxes of clothing out there, and there was an Hermes bag, uh, yeah. and there's a scarf in it. So, okay. And then we got NASA photos from an actual astronaut estate. Um, it's amazing. They got sent to us from Florida, so that's all like in-house right. stuff. So it's crazy. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, we are in Pennsylvania right now, and if you follow American Pickers, they always say that their favorite state to pick in is Pennsylvania. Right. Because there's, you know, just being there's so much here, here in the Northeast, there's just so much stuff. I mean, New York is pretty darn good too, but Pennsylvania yeah. is incredible. 
So you've heard about light boxes before, and this is just like a giant version of it. So just for frame of reference, this is my light box. Now let's go look at Brian's again. I mean, look at the size of this light box. This is a Mr. Buy's light box. Yes, it's, uh, it's definitely hardcore. Oh my God. It's almost like uh, a TARDIS. Like it's like a time machine. You can go in there, travel through space and time. There you go. Uh, we're actually going to start wow. using this for auctions. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Um, we're going to put idea. a table through the whole thing, mm -hmm. and then we'll be able to feed merchandise through one side right. and pull it out the other when the item's sold. All right, so we're going to go into the main part of the warehouse now, uh, which you know you would think maybe I would have gone in there first, but I was just drawn in by all the comic book stuff, but now we're going to... We're gonna head in there. So we're gonna take Dom. All right, yeah. Giant Dom. <laughs> we have to adjust our our, our cameras here. <laughs> Look, I have to like stretch so that, so that you guys can see the, the downward angle of Dom, so he looks yeah. thinner that way. You know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that does help. Thanks. <laughs> All so, right, so let's see what we got Dom here. Dom out here, and then we're gonna our lights are automatic. Oh, nice. Uh, That's nice. Now, what'd you say the size of this is? It's about forty two hundred square feet. Wow. Oh my gosh. Everything in the filing cabinets is listed inventory on ebay okay all of the stuff you see sitting around is either recent purchases or stuff i'm getting ready for the auction okay so so there is there is an organization system here yeah <laughs> i see a lot of it doesn't look what, like what do we got here some vintage uh, matchbox, matchbox cars. i bought these okay. this past weekend oh my gosh wow, um those are this. actually all sold so i just have to box them up and ship them out wow wow there's so much stuff here Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, it is it is huge. Oh my huge. gosh. You got your shipping supply area over here. Yep, this is our shipping area and we also do our auctions from this table. Oh, okay. So this is where we're looking when we right. watch the show. Okay. Awesome. And there's your setup there with the computer. Yep. Rollo printer. Okay, yeah, that's uh, a must have if you don't so have that. As you can see, these are the packages that af the that we packed okay. after the mailman came on Friday at we have a mail pickup between 12:30 and 1 o'clock every day. Okay. So. Okay. So they they know the deal. They know what what they're coming what 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 they're in for when they come over here. Yeah, they're day. not super happy about it because I require them to scan every package before it leaves us. Right. Just right. so that if it goes missing, it's right. not our fault. Right. Right. Is it the same person every day or? It is. Um, okay. Unless he's on vacation or whatever. Okay. Wow. So. I mean, this is this is absolutely huge. <laughs> okay. So wow. I'll let you. I'll so, let you go first. I, I love the bubble wrap roll wheel. That is so cool. Yeah, it's yeah. a curtain rod. Yeah, that is that is very helpful. I've yeah, seen I mean, I've seen fun. bubble wrap wheels this big. I, a local comic shop that I go to gets them like this size. That's but, a new uh, line. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's um, I, I, my space. I'm just not going to work like that yeah. that big of a size. So I get them in smaller rolls and then just trim them down. Yeah, but and you can see, you'll see more of those. As Oh, I like, I like that you have a peanut bin there, so that's good. Okay. So, and you got an airport near here, so we're gonna hear um, airplanes. We're gonna hear airplanes. So what's all? Actually, what's all? President Biden was here yesterday. Oh wow, yeah. really? Yeah. See, everything Mr. Buys a lot is is just big. It's bigger. So you know, look at this. Yeah, we're like Texas. Yeah, look at this giant size U-line peanuts. Bag, right? That's amazing. But what's all this stuff here? All these glass so, pieces and everything? Yeah, those are touch glass lamp panels. Okay. Um, this is actually something I'm going to get rid of. Okay. For my, uh, off of my eBay. We have all of these listed. We okay. sell them for $10 a panel with free shipping. It costs okay. us about three bucks to ship them. Okay. There are, every one of those boxes has six panels. So okay. it's, it's potentially seven dollars after shipping, five dollars after fees that we get per panel. So it's thirty bucks a box. Wow. When wow. did you When did you get all that? I've had that for about a year and a half. We do about a thousand to twelve hundred dollars a month in sales off of that. Wow. And I'm gonna offer it out to one of the subscribers for three thousand dollars for all of it. Oh my gosh. Just because I want that space. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, what was in this space beforehand? Nothing. 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 We okay. actually built those shelves specifically I, for those. I was wondering. I was wondering. Wow. And there's there's like another ten or twelve cases of a hundred boxes in each case in the back room. Wow. 
Okay, that that's amazing. Uh, awesome. There's your there's your poster rolls right there. Yep. I've, I've received something in one of those before. So. Um, and this is another shipping station. This is where Pam okay. does all the shipping for the YouTube auctions. Okay. All right. Pam HQ right there. Yep. Oh boy, there we go. Yeah. Comic boxes. <laughs> like the <a> kid. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is what I love to see. Wow, this is, this is amazing. So, okay, let's see how how deep this goes. Yeah. This is about two hundred and twenty-five long boxes. So this this all comes from multiple collections that you've. Actually, or is it, or is it just, is it from one big collection? Um, this is probably two collections. Okay. But about two hundred of these boxes. Okay. Came from one collection. Okay. And that collection was we videoed it. Okay. Is from the same guy that we're going to see today. Oh. That okay. I'm taking you to see that we might be buying another hundred and sixty-five long boxes from. So this guy that we're going to see is he is he actually a collector or? I think what he does is he buys smaller collections okay and then maybe he keeps like the real high dollar keys right right right. and then he he combines everything and he sells maybe two or three loads a year to pay for everything he buys for the year and he keeps like you know the hulk 181s right. 129s the thousand dollar nut books right because i've found multiple 500 dollar books in here and and hundred dollar books because the boxes are in no no kind of yeah significance so i mean you can right. look right you'll run across a ton of bronze age you'll see silver age books so yeah 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 i mean you can see right here we already have some older books right here so i mean it's instantly you could tell there's some this is great stuff and the condition's amazing yeah like yeah it's surprisingly yeah there are actual silver age books that are completely oh well, look at this look at that that's very nice house of secrets i mean these are great great titles i love this stuff weird mystery these are awesome and the whole collection was almost all marvel and dc that's very good as well and the other thing is that with the movies you know when that guy sold you this there are certain books in here that weren't sought after and then right. all of a sudden something's happening on a tv show or a movie and now i actually have this exact one single highest graded nice ever by cgc available for sale in my ebay store oh i love this this want the highest graded this. highest graded ever i do have it available go to dom's ebay store yes but you know i love what appealed to me about this i love that cover it's oh, just it's so cool. cool with him with that big wooden sledgehammer. It kind of looks like Bane. He reminds yeah. me of Bane. Yeah, yeah, that cool red hood. It's just something someone would love to display. Yeah. You know, it's got the 12 cents on it, Adventure Comics. It's just, it's really cool. So, yeah, it's just amazing. So, it's just, I want to, so I, I'm kind of like, um, we, we both know Chuck Rosansky. Chuck. From yep. uh, Mile High Comics, and if you haven't seen my... A video when I went out there, you definitely have to check it out. Um, but Chuck is just obsessed with wanting to own every single comic book in existence. <laughs> he does not like if he he'd be upset if he saw this because he he would want to own all of these. Each one of these aisles holds twenty seven thousand uh, trade paperbacks and hardbacks, and uh, I'm a, a bibliophile, so this is um, my favorite part of the store. And my goal, as I have articulated. To ad nauseum is to uh, accumulate all the books in the world and keep them for me and uh, <laughs> not let anybody else have them so uh i i kind of have the same <laughs> the same <laughs> urge impulsive. that i want yeah that i want to have every single comic book that's in existence money to do that. <laughs> yeah it, that's the problem it just costs too much but uh i just love books so much i love yeah. books so yeah it's, it's awesome yeah this is as close as in our lifetime, we're ever going to have to time machine. I see we got movie posters back there. And oh my gosh, look at this. Yep. I didn't even see it. So these are the famous These are the trays, trays that we do for auction. Okay. My wife, Kim, who knows nothing about comic books, came out here. These boxes she emptied the other day to make trays of 50 books. Okay. So nobody has seen these. But from looking from this standpoint, I can see some trays that are exceptional. 
Right. Like, yep. there's a Star Wars tray. I just bought a tray from you the other day on your auctions. Um, uh, I saw it on the table before I left here today. Uh, uh, 50 Spider-Man comic books. Oh, okay. Yeah. So sold, sold, sold to Primetime Treasure Hunter, Dom, for $75. Congratulations, Dom. I, I was very happy with that purchase. Yeah, we have variant covers mm -hmm. and, and everything. And yeah, I, I don't know what's in the trays, guys. And this is this is the key for me. I have people who are willing to come here and buy Silver Age superhero from me and pay me, you know, five, six, seven dollars a book across the board, and I'll buy five hundred books at a time. Right. I don't do that because I feel like it hurts the auction, and I don't go through the boxes, mm -hmm. which is worse. Right. Like, you know, I know that the guy told me right out, outright, like, there's no super high-end keys. And when, obviously, when we looked at the collection for the purchase, you know, we didn't see anything over 500 bucks an issue. Sure. But now, over time, those, those numbers change. They do. So, I'm not sure now what the numbers would be, and obviously, grading changes value. Sure. So I don't even look in the boxes. Sometimes for the auction, I'll take right. a I'll take a long box up and set it on the table, mm -hmm. and I literally count fifty books out. Right. And we make a tray like this, and that's what sells. We started at ten dollars with no reserve. Right. Um, I'm kicking around the idea of doing wholesale offerings, mm -hmm. and it's literally you know we'll sell fifty books shipped and. We'll just grab 50 books out of a box. I mean, you may get 50 Silver Age superhero books yeah. for the same price that you would get 50 Modern Age books. Right. I don't know. And I don't want to go through the boxes because I want it to be a surprise to everybody who buys. Sure. Yeah. So this is like a sneak preview of things coming up? That, yep. That's what she was working on the other day. Wow. These wow. are all like 1800s newspapers. Oh, my gosh. So those are gonna those are going to be coming up. And then everything you see behind you is what I bought yesterday. Wait, everything I see behind like, me. All where? the stuff like, on the floor and around the corner. That's just from that video that I made. Okay. That I dropped yesterday. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so. So for people who who don't know and are not familiar, haven't seen it yet, your auctions run when? About? Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, from one until about four thirty. Okay. Um. That schedule may change over the next couple of weeks just right. because of, of trying to move and right. get the mortgage because we, we're going to, over six or seven months, I'm going to move all of this inventory south. <laughs> That's going to be a massive undertaking, <laughs> as you could tell. I mean, he's doing the whole move himself, and so uh, it's just going gonna, gonna to take a lot of time. You can't do that all in two seconds, so there's a lot of coordination that has to take place for that. And most everything you see on the shelves is, is listed inventory, so you can see... Mo the stuff on the sh on the shelves here, yep. okay. Listed inventory. So do you have it organized like by a uh, set so, so row four, right. row three? So you must have this in your. So our inventory numbers will be like R four S three. So row four, right. shelf three, one two three. Oh, I see. Okay. And then number twenty. So then I know it's in that box. So you mark the the boxes Correct. with like that. That's part of your inventory right there. I twenty one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's how you have to do it, because otherwise it's impossible to find this stuff. Yeah, 180,000 listings, it would be crazy. How many listings do you, do you currently have? Uh, we pulled down about 8,000. We're at 182,000 maybe. Right. So this is what it would look like, folks. I mean, if you think of your own eBay business and you dreamed of scaling it up to something massive uh this is what now this is what it would look like now how long did it take to to get it to this scale so i've been on ebay since before it was ebay like could you even remember the day when all you had was one box of stuff because <laughs> no. there was that day at no. one point in your life there was that day no because my parents <laughs> my dad was an auctioneer yeah my mom does not vintage textiles okay so you've always been so, surrounded by stuff so i was in an auction when i was five days old my first auction oh my and gosh. when i was about eight there's a flea market from here called perky almondville mm -hmm. they have an auction and they used to sell tables and you get to pick off the table what you wanted to bid on Right. And then it would be like, okay, from me to that table, from here to there, starting bid, a quarter. Right. Because I remember there used to be a guy named Dickie there, and he had this distinct accent. It was like, quarter, 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 right. quarter, 50 right. cent, 50 right. cent. And <laughs> I used to buy, my parents would set up at the flea market, yeah. and I would go down to the auction, 
and they'd give me five bucks and I would buy table lots for five dollars, bring them up, put them at the booth in box lots, and I would make more money than they made. And and then they started making me pay for the booth. Wow.